Hello everyone, this is Ronnie with a brand new tutorial about Canva. Today I'm going to answer a question I received in the group from Neil. Let me get back to Neil's question. He, uh, Neil was asking, I use Gradient often when creating social graphics and there seems to be a glitch with gradients in Canva. Whenever I move a gradient to an image and, earn, and enlarge it to cover it, it makes the gradient the full background image, deleting the image I wanted to add the gradient to. Um, is there a way around this? So I came across the same problem during this week, Neil, and I found a way around it. So I'm, I'm gonna teach it to you guys in this tutorial. All right, so I was designing these custom uh, YouTube thumbnails for my new channel and I experimented with two different uh, designs, this one and this one. So I'm going to open a new document a presentation because I want to show you from scratch uh, how I did this. Let me just put this full screen there and we don't need to see this. Okay, great. Um, so let me first show you the gradient I use. So this is just a gradient that I found on Google. So I just grabbed a background which was a gradient can make it full screen like this. It's pretty nice. I wanted something similar to what we have in the Canva app. So blue to purple. So that's my gradient. And um, I guess what Neil is saying is that whenever he uses um, a layout, for example, let me find a layout, for example, this winter clearance layout. Okay, let's use this. I'm going to say replace. Okay. So I guess the problem that Neil is having is that whenever he drops the background on the visual, it becomes the background. I mean, whenever he drops the, the gradient on the visual, it becomes the background, right? So we don't want this if we make a normal background. So that's what we don't want. So the way to do this, I'm just going to do undo a couple of times there. The way to do this is to duplicate this um, this image right here, which is basically um, a frame, right? So if you duplicate this, you copy this, all right? So we have it like in double now. I'm just gonna leave it here for now. And then I click on the one in the back. I will drop my background, my gradient here. And I will make this normal. All right, and then I have the other frame right here and I'm gonna put whatever photo I want to put in this uh, frame, right? We don't need the filter at this point and I can just push it back. Okay, so you are pushing back. We have all the snowflakes here, which is okay until you see the gradient, right? And the way to do this, because your gradient is still there behind, is to give some transparency to this layer. So you select it, make sure you select the right layer, that's it, and then you give it some transparency. Uh, usually if you want to have like a good balance on your visual, you can go maybe like 50%. Oops. Then the trick is just to select the right layer and center it back up. Okay, so this is a way to use a gradient without making the image disappear. So again, I'm going to show you the process from scratch. You just use a frame and we can use a simple frame like this one. Okay, so importing the frame like this. This is where we will drop our image, for example. All right, it's there. I will copy this, get rid of the image. Wait, sorry, it's not what I was supposed to do. I will copy this one. Okay, then I can import my gradient into this one. And there are two ways. I can leave the gradient on top and give some transparency to the gradient like this. Or I can do the opposite. I can leave the gradient like full, uh, like 100% non-transparent. And then I select the, the back layer, bringing the back layer forward. 
So it's going to cover my gradient and then I give transparency to this layer. It's really up to you. And then the trick is to select the right layer to center your design, right? So I can arrange this back. I center my gradient and I push it back and then I have my image with the gradient. I hope this video helped. Uh, so the trick here is to, to duplicate your frame, basically put the gradient in one, put your image in the other one and then play with transparency in the arrangement. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will find a link in the group um, because we have all the videos compiled into a nice playlist there. And uh, it would be nice if you also follow us on YouTube. Thank you, guys.